Lindos, now known as Linspire, is a Linux distribution that was released around 2001, that was supposed to be a Linux version of Windows, which had the wine compatibility layer pre-installed to run Windows applications, however, Lindos was not successful by any means, and was very short-lived, and it failed to compete with Microsoft Windows back in the day, XP had just hit the scene prior to Lindos, and it was already gaining widespread adoption, and it was already very successful. So the free and open source community, in an effort to combat the likes of Windows XP and earlier, had developed a Linux distro that would try and convince users to move away from Windows, and use Linux instead. However, Windows was a massive fail, many could not run their Windows software using Wine, which had many people very dissatisfied and disappointed with it. However, it was later named to Linspire, and Windows is actually still being updated to this day, it's only for business and commercial use however. Much like the revamped Red Hat Linux, which had been discontinued in 2004, but was revived in the early 2010s, upon popular demand. Linspire has been through several acquisition phases, but it is still primarily sold for commercial purposes to this day. Linspire also offer a version called Freespire, which is a free version of the Lindos OS. Linspire has both open source code and proprietary closed source code, so it's a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to source code. In spite of Linspire's downfall, Many other Windows like Linux distros have popped into existence, including Linux Mint, Zorin OS, Peppermint OS, etc. All of these mimic the look and feel of Windows, and Wine can be installed to add a layer of compatibility with Windows software. However, Wine cannot run every bit of Windows software out there, especially demanding programs that need access to graphics or processing power, so it is recommended that users do not use Wine unless it's absolutely necessary. Finding a FOSS alternative is usually a better solution to running Windows software on Linux, as Wine introduces latency, and some programs do not work properly or at all under Wine. Lindos will always be remembered as the Linux distro that failed miserably, yet somehow manages to survive to this day.